In articulatory phonetics, a consonant is a speech sound that is articulated with complete or partial closure of the vocal tract. Examples are p, pronounced with the lips, t, pronounced with the front of the tongue, k, pronounced with the back of the tongue, h, pronounced in the throat, f, and s, pronounced by forcing air through a narrow channel fricatives, and m and n, which have air flowing through the nose nasals. Contrasting with consonants are vowels. Since the number of possible sounds in all of the world's languages is much greater than the number of letters in any one alphabet, linguists have devised systems such as the International Phonetic Alphabet to assign a unique and unambiguous symbol to each attested consonant. In fact, the English alphabet has fewer consonant letters than English has consonant sounds, so digraphs like ch, shish, th, and zh are used to extend the alphabet, and some letters and digraphs represent more than one consonant. For example, the sound spelled th in this is a different consonant than the th sound in thin. In the IPA, they are transcribed and theta, respectively. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word consonant comes from Latin oblique stem consonant, from consonants litera, sounding together letter. A calc of Greek symphonon symphonon plural symphona, Dionysus Thrax calls consonants symphona, pronounced with, because they can only be pronounced with a vowel. He divides them into two subcategories, hemophona, semivowels, half pronounced, which correspond to continuance, not semivowels, and aphona, mute or silent consonants, unvoiced. Which correspond to stops, not voiceless consonants. This description does not apply to some human languages, such as the Salishan languages, in which stops sometimes occur without vowels, see Nuxic, and the modern conception of consonant does not require co occurrence with vowels. <laughs> Letters The word consonant is also used to refer to a letter of an alphabet that denotes a consonant sound. The 21 consonant letters in the English alphabet are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, X, Z, and usually W and Y. The letter Y stands for the consonant, J, in yoke, the vowel, in myth, the vowel, I, in funny, and the diphthong, A, in my. W always represents a consonant except in combination with a vowel letter, as in growth, raw, and how, and in a few loanwords from Welsh, like cruth or cwm. In some other languages, such as Finnish, Y only represents a vowel sound. <laughs> Consonants versus vowels Consonants and vowels correspond to distinct parts of a syllable, the most sonorous part of the syllable that is, the part that's easiest to sing, called the syllabic peak or nucleus, is typically a vowel, while the less sonorous margins called the onset and coda are typically consonants. Such syllables may be abbreviated CV, V, and CVC, where C stands for consonant and V stands for vowel. This can be argued to be the only pattern found in most of the world's languages, and perhaps the primary pattern in all of them. However, the distinction between consonant and vowel is not always clear cut. There are syllabic consonants and non syllabic vowels in many of the world's languages. One blurry area is in segments variously called semivowels, semiconsonants, or glides. On one side, there are vowel like segments that are not in themselves syllabic, but form diphthongs as part of the syllable nucleus, as the i in English boil. BL. On the other, there are approximants that behave like consonants in forming onsets, but are articulated very much like vowels, as the y in English yes jays". Some phonologists model these as both being the underlying vowel, i, so that the English word bit would phonemically be, bit, beat would be, bii, t, and yield would be phonemically, i, e, ld. Likewise, foot would be, foot, food would be, foo, d, wood would be, u, u, d, and wood would be, u, 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 d. However, there is a perhaps allophonic difference in articulation between these segments, with the j in j's yes and gld yield and the w of wu d wood having more constriction and a more definite place of articulation than the in bl boil or bt bit or the of foot foot. The other problematic area is that of syllabic consonants, segments articulated as consonants but occupying the nucleus of a syllable. 
This may be the case for words such as church in rhotic dialects of English, although phoneticians differ in whether they consider this to be a syllabic consonant, tt, or a rhotic vowel, tt. Some distinguish an approximant that corresponds to a vowel for rural as l or l, others see these as a single phoneme, l. Other languages use fricative and often trilled segments as syllabic nuclei, as in Czech and several languages in Democratic Republic of the Congo, and China, including Mandarin Chinese. In Mandarin, they are historically allophones of i, and spelled that way in pinyin. Ladifoged and Madison call these fricative vowels and say that they can usually be thought of as syllabic fricatives that are allophones of vowels. That is, phonetically they are consonants, but phonemically they behave as vowels. Many Slavic languages allow the trill r and the lateral l as syllabic nuclei. See words without vowels. In languages like Nuxic, it is difficult to know what the nucleus of a syllable is, or if all syllables even have nuclei. If the concept of syllable applies in Nuxic, there are syllabic consonants in words like sx, s, s, xs, seal fat. Miyako in Japan is similar, with f, ks, to build and ps, ks, to pull. Features <laughs> 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 Each spoken consonant can be distinguished by several phonetic features. The manner of articulation is how air escapes from the vocal tract when the consonant or approximant vowel-like sound is made. Manners include stops, fricatives, and nasals. The place of articulation is where in the vocal tract the obstruction of the consonant occurs, and which speech organs are involved. Places include bilabial, both lips, alveolar, tongue against the gum ridge, and velar, tongue against soft palate. In addition, there may be a simultaneous narrowing at another place of articulation, such as palatalization or pharyngealization. The phonation of a consonant is how the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. When the vocal cords vibrate fully, the consonant is called voiced, when they do not vibrate at all, it is voiceless. The voice onset time indicates the timing of the phonation. Aspiration is a feature of VOT. The airstream mechanism is how the air moving through the vocal tract is powered. Most languages have exclusively pulmonic aggressive consonants, which use the lungs and diaphragm, but ejectives, clicks, and implosives use different mechanisms. The length is how long the obstruction of a consonant lasts. This feature is borderline distinctive in English, as in holy, holy versus holy, holy, but cases are limited to morpheme boundaries. Unrelated roots are differentiated in various languages such as Italian, Japanese, and Finnish, with two length levels, single and geminate. Estonian and some Sami languages have three phonemic lengths, short, geminate, and long geminate, although the distinction between the geminate and overlong geminate includes suprasegmental features. The articulatory force is how much muscular energy is involved. This has been proposed many times, but no distinction relying exclusively on force has ever been demonstrated. All English consonants can be classified by a combination of these features, such as voiceless alveolar stop. T. In this case, the airstream mechanism is omitted. Some pairs of consonants like p, b, t, d are sometimes called fortis and lenus, but this is a phonological rather than phonetic distinction. Consonants are scheduled by their features in a number of IPA charts. Examples The recently extinct Ubique language had only two or three vowels but 84 consonants, the TAA language has 87 consonants under one analysis, 164 under another, plus some 30 vowels in tone. The types of consonants used in various languages are by no means universal. For instance, nearly all Australian languages lack fricatives, a large percentage of the world's languages lack voiced stops as phonemes, such as b, d, and Most languages, however, do include one or more fricatives, with s being the most common, and a liquid consonant or two, with l the most common. The approximant w is also widespread, and virtually all languages have one or more nasals, though a very few, such as the central dialect of Rotokas, lack even these. This last language has the smallest number of consonants in the world, with just six. <laughs> <laughs> Most common 
The most common consonants around the world are the three voiceless stops p, t, k, and the two nasals m, n. However, even these common five are not universal. Several languages in the vicinity of the Sahara Desert, including Arabic, lack p. Several languages of North America, such as Mohawk, lack both of the labials p and m. The Wichita language of Oklahoma and some West African languages, such as IJO, lack the consonant n on a phonemic level, but do use it as an allophone of another consonant of l in the case of IJO and of in Wichita. A few languages on Bougainville Island and around Puget Sound, such as Macaw, lack both of the nasals m and n. The click language Endung lacks t, and colloquial Samoan lacks both alveolars, t and n. Despite the 80-odd consonants of Ubique, it lacks the plain velar, k, in native words, as do the related Odig and Kabardian languages. But with a few striking exceptions, such as Havante and Tahitian—which have no dorsal consonants whatsoever, Nearly all other languages have at least one velar consonant. The few languages that do not have a simple k usually have a consonant that is very similar. For instance, an aerial feature of the Pacific Northwest coast is that historical asterisk k has become palatalized in many languages, so that sonich, for example, has t and k, but no plain k. Similarly, historical asterisk k in the Northwest Caucasian languages became palatalized to k in Ubik and t in most Circassian dialects. The most frequent consonant, that is, the one appearing most often in speech in many languages, is k. Audio samples The following are consonant charts with links to audio samples. IPA chart pulmonic consonants with audio requires browser with JavaScript. IPA chart non-pulmonic consonants with audio requires browser with JavaScript. IPA chart affricate consonants with audio requires browser with JavaScript. IPA chart co-articulated consonants with audio requires browser with JavaScript. Topic. See also. Articulatory phonetics. List of consonants. List of phonetics topics. Words without vowels. Equals equals notes. <laughs>